What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Farid and in today's video, we're going to be taking a first look at the Jira Wallet mobile app for iOS. Now, if you guys don't know what Jira Wallet is, it's going to be a non-custodial wallet building on Cardano. And I actually had the pleasure of speaking with one of the co-founders for the Jira Wallet, who was Sean Roller. Now, if you guys want to find out more about what this wallet is bringing to Cardano, as well as the recent launch of their mobile application, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to that particular video down below. Now, as a part of today's video, I've got special access to the iOS version of their DAP. And so what I've done is I've connected my phone to the computer. And what I'm going to be doing is reviewing the process of importing my wallet, buying ADA, sending ADA, swapping assets, and also connecting to the DAP store all from within the Jira wallet um, app. Before we jump into today's demo of the Jira wallet mobile app, I do want to show you guys the test wallet that I'm going to be using as a part of the presentation. So here's my test wallet, which currently holds 42 ADA. It also holds a small amount of the Wing Riders token, as well as five different NFTs, including an ADA handle. So now that we understand exactly what wallet we're going to be using, I'm going to share my phone with you guys. And what I want to do at this point is actually go ahead and select the Jira wallet app. Now, before we continue any further, I do want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to the Jira wallet team for providing me access to this beta version of the application, which again is being hosted on the iOS platform. Now, this is not publicly available just yet. But if you guys want to play around with the Jira Wallet mobile app, you can download it for Android. Now, once we actually sign in or once we open the app, we're prompted to select our language. If I tap on that language icon or the language section, I can see that right now the English language is the only supported language. But I would assume that over the course of time, especially as development continues on the Jira Wallet mobile app, we'll have additional languages for selection. I'm going to go ahead and confirm and then click on get started. From here, I can either select to create a brand new Jira wallet or I can import an existing wallet. I'm going to go ahead and import my wallet. And then I'm now prompted to enter my secret backup phrase or my password associated with my wallet. And then I can also go ahead and actually select my wallet name. And then I can also select my wallet cover color. So let me go ahead and just quickly enter my seed phrase password. Now that I'm done entering my different seed phrases, I can go ahead and edit the name of my wallet and I can also edit the cover associated with the wallet. Again, for now, I'm going to keep both of these as the default. So I'm going to go ahead and just X out of here and then I'm going to go ahead and click on the import button to finish the process. Now, once I do that, I'm going to be prompted to enter a password for my actual wallet. So this password is going to be the password that I have to enter before um, actually making any transaction. So let me go ahead and actually enter a password in here. And as you guys can see, as I'm actually typing in my password, we can actually see that the prompts are turning green. So we need to make sure that we're using a password that's at least 10 characters long, which also contains at least one number, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and a special character. Let me go ahead and re-enter my password again. And as we can see, our passwords match. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that I understand the Jira wallet terms of use and that the Jira wallet team cannot recover my password for me. So I'm going to make sure to keep that very close. Next, I'm going to click on continue. And as we can see, our Jira wallet has officially been created. Now, there are some important steps here listed regarding our secret backup phrase or our seed phrase, which, again, I think is pretty common um, within the community. Definitely make sure not to share this with anybody and make sure to store it in a safe and secure place. Next, I'm going to click on all done. All right. It looks like the wallet setup is finished and we now have access to our Jira wallet. Looking at the top left hand corner, we can see that we're currently on the Cardano mainnet. Right below that, I can see the name of my wallet as well as my address. Tapping on this little icon here in the top right hand corner will actually copy the wallet address. I can see my ADA balance right below that. And then I have the ability to buy ADA using MoonPay. I can send ADA directly from this Jira wallet mobile application. And I can also swap and connect to the different dApps that are currently supported. Right below that, I can see the price of Cardano. 
I can also see a minimized chart as well as the current amount that I actually hold. And then very similarly within the middle, we have the NFT section. So from here, I can view all of my different NFTs. And then to the right of that, I have all of my previous transactions or my history as it relates to this specific wallet address. Now, if I click on these three dots here at the top right hand side, I can see all of the wallets within this particular account. And so right now I only have one wallet. However, I can create up to a total of eight different wallets. And then if I go back and then if I actually click on any of these other two options, I could either create a new wallet or I can import an additional wallet. Now I'm going to just back out of there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the buy option here. Now, this is going to be a pretty straight option. If I actually click on open moon pay, what it's going to do is it's going to take me to the official moon pay website. And because I'm clicking to um, redirect from within my wallet, I'm not actually going to have to tie my wallet to moon pay. Moon pay is already going to know exactly who to send the ADA to. And so this is going to be a seamless option if you're looking to onboard right into Cardano with a new wallet without having to go through a centralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance. Now that's going to wrap it up for the actual buy section here. Again, it's pretty straightforward. Let me just click on it to show you guys. If I click on buy, it's just going to take me to MoonPay where I can enter exactly how much ADA I want. Um, and then again, once I actually click on continue, it's going to ask me to undergo a little bit of KYC. Once I actually confirm the purchase, I should then see my ADA be redirected straight into my Jira wallet. So I'm going to click on done. And we're going to come back here at our main wallet. And what we're going to look at next is the send feature. So if I click on send from here, I can see or I can choose which wallet I want to send from being that I only have a single wallet that's going to be selected by default. Next, I can enter the wallet address that I want to send the funds to. So let me just enter dollar sign Mike. And whoever has that ADA handle will be receiving whatever I'm about to send. From here, I can then select what token I want to send or what NFTs are available within my wallet. So as you guys can see, by default, it's set to ADA. I can also see my additional NFTs as well as my Wing Riders token. So let's say I want to send some ADA. So I'm going to click on ADA and click on confirm. And then I can actually add how much ADA I want to send. So let's say I want to send 10 ADA, which is equivalent to $3, which is listed down there at the bottom. I can then click on continue right and as you guys can see it very quickly resolves to the address holding the mic ada handle again i can confirm here and if i actually press on continue i can then enter my spending password um, to actually confirm that transaction so i'm not going to confirm that there i'm going to go back and then next i'm going to take a look at the swap menu so if i click on swap from here i believe we're going to be taking advantage of the dex aggregator feature so what I can do here is actually select what token I want to swap to and from. Again, by default, I can see all the assets that I currently hold. So let's say I want to swap from ADA to meld. Then I can come down here and just type in meld. And I'm going to click on confirm. Now, before I actually continue, I need to see exactly how much of the um, ADA I want to spend. So if I click on max, it's going to go ahead and actually provide the maximum amount of ADA that I can spend in order to purchase the Mel token, which is currently at 39 ADA. If I click on continue, let's see, it says that something went wrong. So I actually think I need to go ahead and set my collateral. So I'm going to come back to my wallet and I'm going to click on account here. And then from here, I can actually set my collateral. So I'm going to click on deposit collateral and then I'm going to enter my spending password. And then I'm going to confirm. And our collateral has officially been set. So I'm going to go back home and I'm going to go ahead and try this one more time. So now that my collateral has been set, I'm going to go back into swap. From here, I'm going to go ahead and select again, ADA. And let's say I want to send 15 ADA or I want to swap 15 ADA for meld. And I'm going to confirm that there click on continue and as we can see we are now eligible to perform a swap so right now the price of meld is currently sitting at 0 0.0681 ADA per meld and the protocol that it's going to be using is going to be min swap I can also see the fee 
and the battery fee as well. And then I can see at the very bottom how much meld I'm expecting to receive as a part of this transaction. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And I am actually going to confirm this transaction. I'm going to click on confirm. And we're going to give that a minute to process. So um, the cool thing about the DEX aggregator feature is that it's going to look across all of the different DEXs that are tied within the Jira wallet application, and it's going to give me the best price available. So the transaction has gone through. We're going to give that a minute to basically process, and then we're going to double check our assets here in just a minute. All right, guys, it looks like the MinSwap transaction has finished processing. And as we can see within the assets section of our wallet, we can now see the 220 MEL tokens that we just purchased. If I jump into the history now, I should also be able to see that on December 11th, I sent out 20 ADA, right? And then right after I received two ADA back with the 220 MEL. So if I click on the actual transaction here, I can see exactly who the uh, meld came from I can copy their address I can also see who they sent it to which was my Jira wallet number one I can see the exact amount of ADA as well as the amount of meld and then I can also see the network fees and everything like that associated with it if I want to actually view the transaction I can open that up in Cardano scan which will open up here in a separate tab at which point I can just kind of go through anything that I need to there now closing this out one thing I do want to show you guys, in addition to the DEX aggregator, is going to be the DAP store. So if I click on DAP here, and then I connect to epoch.art or jpeg.store, from here I can actually click on the connect wallet button, and that's going to go ahead and connect to my wallet. And as you guys can see there, my ADA balance shows up pretty quickly. Now from there, I could actually go ahead and search for whatever NFT collection I want. And as I begin to search through these, I should then be able to actually click on one of these. Now, granted, I don't have enough ADA to purchase this, but I should be able to connect my wallet and actually click on buy now, given that I had enough ADA and actually complete my transaction that way. So this gives you guys within the community the ability to not only get the cheapest prices when it comes to the tokens, i.e. Cardano native tokens, but you can also get direct access to purchasing NFTs on the fly from within your wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on done there. That's going to be a brief demo of the DAP section. Next, I'm going to jump back into the collectibles here and just kind of take a look at my ADA handle so I can see exactly what the name of the um, NFT is. I can see the description. And then again, I can view it on Pool PM or on Cardano Scan. Let me open up another NFT. Very similarly, I can see the art, the name and the description. Now, one thing that I want to note here is that this particular wallet should support the playing of video and audio. So if you have any NFTs that are video and audio specific, you will be able to play those back from directly within the wallet. Next, if I go back into my account, uh, my account settings here um, within the wallet details, I can see my address. I can copy that there. Um, you guys saw me set up the collateral there earlier. And then under settings, I can change my language, the currency and the automatic logout time. And then if I need access to the Jira wallet team for support, I can actually go ahead and log a ticket directly from within the wallet. So really cool feature to see there as well. And then if I back out and then go into about, I can see the current running version of the wallet. That's going to wrap it up for today's brief review of the Jira wallet application as it sits right now on beta for the iOS platform. Big thank you to Chris and Sean and the rest of the development team for providing me with early access to the platform. And if you guys wanna get access to it for yourselves, it is available on Android. So I'm gonna leave the link to that down in the description below. If you guys wanna hear more from Sean as it relates to the launch of the application, I will leave the link to my prior video interviewing him down in the description below as well. If you guys found some of the information covered as a part of today's video to be helpful, then please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions or comments as it relates to the launch of the Jira Wallet mobile application, then please make sure to leave those comments down below. That said, I will see you guys in the next video.